Hello, welcome back to Motor Point. I'm Tim, this is a BMW 4 Series, and I always think the 4 Series is a bit like being in your 30s, trying to use TikTok. It's confusing, weird, uh, and oddly sexy, until you understand what it is, because the 4 Series is basically a sporty two-door version of the 3 Series, which sounds simple enough, but there's also a five-door version of the 4 Series called the Grand Coupe, so the 4 Series has two doors unless it has five doors, and then it's a version of the 3 Series which has four doors unless it's the Estate which has five doors, but there's a convertible version of the 4 Series which also has two doors, and two add four, and three goes into five twice, which means this is the most confusing car I've ever filmed. But it's turned into one of BMW's best-selling cars of recent years, and for good reasons, some of which we're going to cover in the next five to ten minutes. Numerical nonsense aside, this is the original version of the 4 Series. It came out in 2013, it was facelifted in 2017, and it was replaced by an all-new version in 2020. That's the one with the massive deranged beaver grille, which you may or may not like. I personally prefer the slightly more delicate looks of this version. It's also used, so it is cheaper. This one has 16,000 miles on the clock, and it's only 26 grand. And it's the 430D, so it's got the beefy six-cylinder diesel engine. So, yeah, it's a bargain, frankly. Welcome to my mobile boudoir. I love these red leather seats. They're so cool. But yeah, it's just got a really nice premium feel to the interior. I've got a nice round steering wheel, which isn't too thick like some of the modern 4 Series can be. I've got little gear shift paddles for the gearbox behind the wheel as well. I haven't got a digital dashboard like in the new 4 Series. I've got two regular dials, bit of a little digital screen in the middle for your MPG and stuff like that. M Sport model's got an 8.8 inch touchscreen, but you're better off using it using the iDrive rotary controller down here. Keeps your eyes on the road. It is one of the best systems in the market. It was great in 2017, and it's still great today, and you can plug in for CarPlay as well. I've got heated seats. I've got everything you would want in a premium car, really. It feels fantastic, despite being a little bit old. But this car does have back seats, so I'm gonna to attempt to clamber in there to show you how much room you get in the back of the two-door four series. Those numbers are really messing with my brain. So can a six foot three adult get into the back of a four series with any dignity? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, I do actually fit in the back. Sure, my head is touching the roof um, a fair bit, to be honest. But if I put this seat into my driving position, which it has not done, <laughs> That's my driving position about there. I've actually got knee room and I've got foot room. If you've got elbow room, obviously there's no middle seat. The middle seat passenger is replaced by a little tray for your stuff. There's no USBs back here, which is a bit of a miss, but I've got a little padded armrest here. And in here, I've even got some cup holders and you've got ISOFIX on the outside seat. So your kids will fit back here. Adults will fit back here if they're not really tall. And it's one of the better two door coupes for your back seat passengers. It's all right. Nearly every 4 Series sold in the UK was an M Sport version. This is no different. So you get the M badge there. You also get more aggressive bumpers and a body kit down the side. Really like this little flick here, which mirrors the so-called Hofmeister kink, which car journalists love to talk about. It's like a BMW design signature. And I just love the way this roofline swoops down to the boot to put it all together. It looks super sporty. It looks Ah, it just looks brilliant, doesn't it? It's a piece of art that you can drive. Welcome to one of the nicest bums in the whole world of motoring. It's smooth, it's timeless, it belongs to the 4 Series, not me. But yeah, it's just a really nice design, isn't it? The way the lights kind of, these L-shaped things that drag it all together. This one's a 430D, so it is there's a big six-cylinder diesel. You could also get the 420D, really economical four-cylinder diesel, and a 420i, which is four-cylinder petrol, and then there's the M4 at the top. The M4 is basically the best way to set fire to big piles of money that you've ever experienced. The boot, 445 litres, is currently locked. Found the keys of the boot, it's 445 litres, which is 30 litres less than the 3 Series, but it's still a reasonably big space. It's huge, it's just the access is uh, slightly tight because the whole back doesn't open up. The convertible version is far less practical. And with the roof down, it's only got 200 and something liters of space. Just beware of that if you're planning big road trips with big cases with the roof down. Um, but yeah, let's put some stuff in there to show you how big it is. That is called the Motor Point Big Boot Challenge, where the only challenge is not getting builder's bum when I'm doing it. So the two big bags and the two small bags actually fit in there pretty easily with room to spare for some soft squidgy bags. 
I'm off to south of France to get some Instagram validation points. Some nice sunset photos with my four series. Oh no, my contract says I can't leave Peterborough. But anyway, enough about my legal problems. Let's go and find out what a four series is like to drive. The first thing you notice is actually it feels quite sporty in here. You feel as if you're sitting low and you can get the seat down nice and low as well. So you can bring the steering wheel out into your lap and you feel like you're in a sports car. That is great. What is not so great is the visibility over your shoulder. It's just a little bit compromised by being a coupe. You can live with it. Uh, in terms of engines, there's a huge range. As I said briefly, basically, they're all reasonably powerful. The 420i gets about 184 horsepower. The 420d gets about 190 horsepower. Then they go up. So this is the entry level six cylinder diesel, the 430d, 255 horsepower. And there's one above this, the 435d, which has got 50 horsepower more than is the M4, which has 400 and something and is very loud, very silly, and drinks fuel at an amazing rate. But yeah, that's all boring. We're gonna get some dual carriage road, talk about high speed refinement, comfort and safety, and then get some twisty roads where this car really comes alive. Now, one thing about these six cylinder diesel engines is they pull like a train. They are really quick, really smooth, and really quite fast. I think 0 60 on this 430D is about five and a half seconds. But to be honest, the 420D is still a quick car. And once you're up to speed, it's a really hushed cabin barely any tire noise, barely any wind noise. It's a really comfortable thing for long journeys. Now, unlike the new 4 Series, the Beaver one, this isn't covered in sensors, lasers, and cameras. So it's got less of the computery safety tech on it, but it's still got your basic automatic emergency braking and all that kind of stuff. It just hasn't got as much awareness of the world around it. But you know, you might think that's a good thing if you've been annoyed by lane keeping systems. But anyway, I'm waffling, that's boring. Let's go and see what this is like on a twisty country road. Can't wait. Right, let's go out to the country lanes. I've got it in sport mode, which really just weightens up the steering. And if you've got the adaptive dampers, stiffens up the suspension. And this is where the Forcer is really comes into its own because it's rear wheel drive. You feel yourself being pushed out of corners and the steering is weighty and lovely and direct. It just feels like a sports car. Now I would say, having driven these in the wet with the big six cylinder diesel engines, you do need to be a little bit respectful of the throttle because you can get them to skid sideways a bit, which is fun if you're expecting it, not if you weren't, like I wasn't on a roundabout near Heathrow accidentally once. But yeah, really, really fun car to drive. It drives like it looks, sporty, posh feeling, just puts you in a good mood. Really lovely car to drive twisty roads it just devours them and then you can get onto a motorway with that big six cylinder diesel engine and just drink it up all the four cylinder diesel engine they're all good but anyway enough of this let's go back to motor point for an outro so you might be sitting there thinking surely the new four series renders this one redundant it absolutely doesn't this feels just as good to drive is the new one. I think this looks classier. Obviously it's cheaper because it's available used and nearly new here at Motorpoint. Uh, it's still got a great range of engines from the really economical to the really ludicrously powerful. The boot is huge and the back seats are about as good as it gets for a two-door coupe. So it is reasonably practical for a sporty car. What is not to like? Not a lot, frankly, unless you feel the need to have the latest and greatest and the most beaverish. That's the new one. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to go to motorpoint.co.uk to see our full range of nearly new used cars and vans, including some of the new 4 Series as well, if you really like some beaver action in your life. And remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got plenty more nearly new car videos coming up very soon. Yeah.